What's up, amigos? It's the Project Maker Minute with yours truly, Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. And The Secrets of Spanish Tennis will be coming out very soon. The new one, Secrets of Spanish Tennis 2, second edition. Very excited about that. I'm immersed in the Spanish mindset and the Spanish philosophy. I spent the last few years studying the system of Tony Nadal. I got certified in the Nadal method, which I think is uh, was an amazing course that I took. And now that course has been um, pulled, like canceled. So I guess no one else can, can study those courses ever again, but it was amazing while it lasted. And thank God, uh, thank goodness, I took copious notes from those courses because now I think um, it was uh, these these videos that Tony Nadal made are sort of lost in the ether. Uh, so I feel like, like tremendously lucky to have taken this course and get certified in this, this uh, method. Uh, it was a few years back. And I, I think the company that that produced these videos went, went out of business in Europe. So uh, and, and Tony Nadal is notoriously, uh, you know, difficult to to approach and spend time with. He's very, very private, you know, and he doesn't like to share his methods uh, uh, with many people. So I feel very blessed to have learned uh, all of Tony's methods and philosophy. And um, I wanted to talk about what Tony says about coaches. Co Tony uh, says that coaches need to be exigent. And exigency, yeah, you might have to look it up, but it basically means demanding. And I think it's a commonly used word in Spanish, but to be exigent, to be demanding. So he feels very strongly that a good coach needs to be demanding, always asking more, a little more and more of a student. And I think that's very true. The best coaches in the world, even if they do it with a smile and positivity, they're pushing, they're pushing, they're, they're demanding every day, every, every hour, a little bit more from their player. And some coaches are, are pushovers. They're not pushing their player, they're pushovers themselves. And that's what you get kind of at most clubs that are recreational, recreationally focused or at like I call them country clubs it's kind of a country country club type of coaching but so Tony Nadal says number one uh, important thing for a coach is to be demanding to always be asking more and more of your charges of of your your students and he also says that another very important quality that a coach has interestingly is kindness is compassion and and being being a kind person being caring and I think those two qualities juxtaposed are what we should strive for as coaches and parents. If you're looking for a coach, definitely I would put those two qualities high up on the list. And you may not have considered that before, but that's from the mind of Tony Nadal, the the the, the genius of Tony Nadal. He's got a very good, uh, he's a very good psychologist. You know, he's very good with uh, understanding uh, players and also understanding coaches in this regard. So kindness a good person who cares but also at the same time a uh, a great coach has this uh toughness th this willingness to demand this willingness to push and make a player uh uncomfortable time and time again a uh, uh, coach has to be bold in that respect has to be exigent demanding so kind and exigent that is uh two important qualities that a great coach must have. Look for that in the people that you're, you're yourself, if you're looking for that as a player or if you're looking for a great coach for your kids. Guys, if you enjoyed this Project Maker Minute, please consider listening or watching my big show. It's the Project Maker Show. It's a podcast. It's available on every podcasting platform and also live on this YouTube channel. I'll see you guys on the next program.